Hey guys, uh, how's it going? I uh, just want to give you guys uh, an update, sort of what I've been up to, and you know, the start of my next big project. Um, as you see right here in front of me is uh, the Open Builds V slot system. Now this is a 500 millimeter section, and it's actually, you know, quite long. And uh, I don't know if you could have guessed probably by the title, that I am uh, going to start building a new printer, and um, it's going to utilize all of the V-slot system here, which I briefly went over in my last video, but you can see the profile here, it makes a V here in these wheels, oops, they fit into that contour, printing an exceptionally tight tight tolerance, um, moving piece. Uh, it works really, really well resisting any sort of torque in any direction. Um, uh, this doesn't wobble at all, so I am pretty pleased with it. Um, I'm not, however, going to be utilizing this specific piece um, in my printer. I just merely wanted to get this to see how the uh, system actually worked and how if it was a viable option for me. So anyways, going into what I'm actually going to be building is known as a C-Bot. Um, you can find it on openbuilds.com and it looks something like that. Um, you go to openbuilds.com and it won't focus quite right, but um, you can find a whole build materials on here tell you exactly what you need to buy and whatnot. Um, and it utilizes all of a open builds V-slot system and their uh, their wheels. Um, but everything else pretty much is printed. And right now I'm printing some parts right here. These are actually going to be for the Z-axis. Um, but I've already printed some other pieces here. Um, so this is will be my Z motor mount. This is going to hold a motor, and uh, um, and this whole system is going to be utilizing a Core X Y system, um, as opposed to you know this independent axis system or an H bot system. Uh, the Core X Y has all X and Y movement on the same plane, so it makes it much. Uh, it, it looks a lot cleaner and it's more efficient space-wise um, as opposed to having this entire bed move uh, which is one of my problems um, getting a lot of uh, I should have made last week you get a lot of artifacts here the rippling if you'll focus here where you can see you have a lot of rippling artifacts, and that's from the z-axis here. Not the z-axis, excuse me, the y-axis. You see it wobbles quite a bit when it does sudden movements. Um, but using the v-slot system should solve all of that, as well as it being a core xy system. Uh, so I'm very excited to get started on this. Uh, I've ordered the parts, so in a week or so, um, I'll make a video on all the components, and it should be a fun time building this. Uh, if you want to build this yourself, just head to Open Builds. There's um, parts lists, everything, files, build of materials, everything you need to build this. And uh, the cool thing about using extrusions like this, you can take what you he has on there and modify the size and uh, make it however big or small the printer you'd like. My goal is to get it roughly a cubic foot of build space, so that's uh, 300 millimeters cubed of build space. And uh, right here is a 500 millimeter section of V-slot rail. Um, and I do like how this system utilizes the inside of the extrusion for the belt to travel through. And it's going to look very, very clean when it's done. Um, 
the C bot. I am looking at dueling. Actually utilizes the system. I can show you the picture. Uh, right here. As you can see these pieces, which I just printed, uh, the belts go through that extrusion right there. So very nice, super excited to start building this. Um, and this is just kind of fun to play around with. Um, I was also thinking of maybe retrofitting that to have this as a y-axis and it would pretty much improve the quality of those prints. But uh, my printer does good enough for now. Uh, it spits out prints that'll work. Not necessarily the prettiest, but um, I got a bunch of the parts already printed, brackets and more uh, pieces and whatnot. So, hopefully by the time I get all the parts, I will have all the printed pieces and I can just start assembling. So, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Have a good day.